I'm Chris Sadegi here at the Post Oak in Houston. It is the site where the Dan Patrick campaign will watch the election night results roll in. The stage is already set. People have not started arriving yet. We expect that around eight o'clock. Patrick, of course, seeking his third term as Lieutenant Governor, facing the same opponent he faced four years ago, a Democratic challenger, Mike Collier. It was a close race in 2018. Patrick won 51 to 46 percent. We'll see if that gap narrows or if it widens might indicate how voter attitudes in Texas have changed over that time. Stick with us throughout the night. We'll have the latest updates and reaction from that stage once the race is decided. Some more info as we are here waiting for results to start coming in later this evening. Uh, the attorney general is going against the grain this year and having his watch party alongside 16 other GOP hopefuls in Collin County uh, instead of having his own watch party. That's kind of been the way it's been uh, years past for the attorney general. We asked the campaign if there's a reason to that. Uh, is it because maybe this is uh, a tighter race or the tightest race? For the GOP statewide, they said, absolutely not. We are literally just standing with other candidates uh, here in Collin County as results kind of come in tonight. Paxton has weathered a lot of controversy while he's been the Attorney General of Texas. 2015, he was indicted for securities fraud. He won re-election in 2018 while under indictment. In 2020, he spoke at the rally that preceded the January 6th Capitol riot. Uh, and then he was also sued by the State Bar of Texas for discipline uh, because of his efforts to try and overturn or challenge the election results of 2020. And then in September of 2020, uh, several of Paxton's staff members blew the whistle on him uh, to the FBI, to federal officers, saying that he was using his office to help out uh, a political donor of his. And they are now looking at that. They are investigating that. Uh, Paxton has refuted those allegations thoroughly. He has basically said that this is a crusade out to get him for championing the GOP uh, and its initiatives. Uh, but tonight, like we said, this is the uh, believed to be going to be the tightest race uh, statewide, even though Paxton is leading in polling against Rochelle Garza. Jobin Bunniker is down in Houston covering Rochelle Garza's um, uh, watch party down there. I'll link his uh, his Twitter handle here in a second, but we'll be giving you more updates tonight here at the Haggard Party Barn in Collin County. It's actually in Plano uh, as the results begin to come in here in a few hours. Hey, WFAA, this is Jobin Puniker here at Rochelle Garza's election watch party here tonight uh, here in downtown Houston. Uh, this should be an interesting night. Could be one of the closest statewide races you actually see tonight. So stay with us for the results.